Okay. Um, so obsession, obsessive thoughts, obsessive thoughts, um, and uh, thoughts and beliefs, and how they all uh, relate to each other. Yeah, obsession. Well, you know, I think a, a, you know, the most extreme obsession I would say is addiction, um, and um, that comes through an extreme misalignment. So, I mean, today I'm going to call it the false gods, to want to extract happiness from something that is not the infinite source, and to align oneself with that as the source of happiness to an extreme level, like, uh, for example, donuts. I, I worship donuts as the source of happiness, or I worship sex as the worst, as the source of happiness, or I worship... Uh, people's validation, or I worship drugs or alcohol, or looking good, or vanity, or whatever it is. Um, so all of those things, you know, they become the, they, because if there is a worship of them, and I'll use the word worship, but if I worship something as if it's the absolute source of life, you know, life comes from food, sex, money, validation, whatever it is then that's an extreme, um, what should I say, an extreme reversal of the truth. You know, the truth doesn't lie. And those things actually lead to extreme bondage because um, uh, there's no truth in that. Yeah, so it leads to actually, it's actually quite a good thing because as ad addicts probably in 12-step groups know, uh, you, it's either going to kill you very quickly or you have to choose God and find the truth that will set you free. There is no, because it's an extreme addiction, extreme obsession. You're going to go to, you're going to go into the extreme madness and into and into virtual death or hell. Uh, yes, that's another thing. I won't go make this video too dark. It can become something pretty bad, but um, um, it will take you to a very very dark place uh, very quickly, and uh, your only way out is to choose God. And a lot of addicts die, or they become totally insane and criminals and do all kinds of things that are not good. So, um, so that's an obsession. So I don't recommend making something external the source of life and worshiping it and going for that to fix you uh, with an extreme level. Uh, so to become that obsessive about anything, uh, well, it's a good thing in a way. I mean, it's like, in, in a way, it's a fast path to extreme darkness very quickly. And uh, you get the option, uh, uh, when are you going to choose God? Or don't choose God and, and, and die or go to hell or something. So I think that's, that's an obsession. Uh, I, do I recommend getting obsessive about anything, making anything out there? Uh, and, and no, I don't actually. Even though it has a benefit, it takes you to the darkness very rapidly. So you got a, you're on a knife edge, you know, afterwards. So it's in that way, it's good. You know, you got to keep choosing God or die. Um, <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? Only an addict would understand what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, um, so 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 the Course in Miracles says all my thoughts are meaningless. So an obsessive thought is something that. The ego holds with extreme meaning, uh, extreme idolization, like a donut. Uh, my thoughts about donuts, um, the opposite sex, um, getting people's validate, whatever it is. So vanity. Um, if you had no no uh, extremely meaningful thoughts or interesting thoughts, you wouldn't have an obsession or addiction that would take you to the darkness because you'd be uh, you'd be more or less you'd be more connected to the infinite light because there is nothing that can you can get obsessed no thought can take you out or no object can take you out now if you just have you know just boring thoughts running through your consciousness which you're not that interested in the whole day you'll pro you'll probably have quite peaceful and serene days uh if you uh if your all your thoughts are 100 percent meaningless and uninteresting you'll go into the thoughtless now um so you'll go into states of ecstasy or enlightenment um uh so that will be so you see that the thoughts, which are a huge aspect of the ego, are that which is blocking off the infinite light and ever-present love of God. Um, uh, we could say the infinite Buddha nature. So um, 
or the the experience of no ego mind, no mind, takes you to the infinite source. Beyond, and no mind, of course, means no thinking. And there are ways uh, of doing that for in various pathways. So, um, yeah. So let's we'll see. A belief. Yeah, I would say there's three different levels. So comp compulsion addiction is extreme, almost to a fixated obsession. Uh, may amuse, no, I think obsession is a little bit less than an addiction. When it's an addiction, it's like, oh, I'm thinking of donuts nonstop all the time, the whole day, with extreme obsession to the obliteration. There is no other thought. I'm just thinking of donuts or I'm thinking of, you know, money or I'm thinking of whatever the addiction is to an extreme level. It is, it is a very, very compulsive. And uh, that leads to eventually insanity, addiction and very dark places. So that, that's what I call the worst when you're idolizing something external. Then you have just an, you know, what normal people call is an obsession, which is moderate, you know, like you'd see a therapist for that probably. You'd, put, you'd need God for, for an addiction. Well, therapy might be helpful with, uh, you know, you don't need anything that powerful. And then you, uh, if you're very spiritually evolved, you just have, you know, a few simple thoughts through the head and you just get on with your day and that's quite serene. And if you're more more of a, an advanced spiritual student, then you're getting to points of timelessness and ecstasy and, and, and thoughtlessness um, and no mind. So, um, but yeah, that's how, it, that's how, it, you know, those are labels, but that's how it, I would classify the different types of thoughts, um, the different level. Hawkins would describe it as different levels of consciousness from the darkest levels with the extreme obsessions to moderate levels of consciousness and then extreme levels of enlightenment and God consciousness. Okay, I'll stop the video there. Uh, let's just